So the first step to reconnecting with your higher self is to know that the answers you require are within you. If you don't believe this fundamental truth, it becomes difficult to tap into your transcendent self. Now, having a mantra or an affirmation can be really useful for this first step. So you can say something like, the answers are within me. I am part of the whole. We all have access to wisdom and compassion. Now, back in 2021, when I was going through like th that dark period in my life, which I've talked about before in my previous videos, but it was also the catalyst for my spiritual awakening journey. And during that period, I used a mantra that really helped me. And I used to recite it quite often at my old job whilst I was driving. Um, when I had to face those people during that you know difficult period in my life. Or just when I felt anxious and I wanted to go within and connect, feel love and light. And I used to recite these following words. I am one with consciousness. I am loving awareness. I am in the vortex. I am connected. And this mantra that I used to recite was basically telling yourself that you are not separate from the universe, that you are the universe. And this really enabled me to reconnect with my higher self. This mantra really, really helped me go through that dark period. And you can use this or, you know, use a mantra that really resonates with you or an affirmation. And you can modify it as well as you go along your journey that will enable you to work through all those things that are making you feel stuck in your life. This alignment will give you a sense of purpose and fulfillment like you've never experienced before. And when you trust your inner wisdom, you will approach situations with calm and clarity, knowing that you can handle whatever comes your way. So connecting with your higher self and acknowledging and realizing that the answers lie within you will promote personal development. You will be guided and you'll begin to fully trust that inner voice, your intuition, as you work on the root causes of issues rather than surface symptoms. You will align your actions and choices with your true values and aspirations. You'll be more attuned with your thoughts and emotions, catching yourself the more you practice, leading to self-awareness and a deeper understanding of your life's path. And this will empower you as you move forward in life in ways that you never thought imaginable. The second step is to hone your capacity for patience whilst waiting for answers from within and especially while connecting with your higher self. And it's a valuable skill that you can use in your personal journey and on your spiritual journey as well. And you can do this by connecting to your breath as it's a conduit to your higher self. To harness the power of patience, your breath is a connection to your higher self. It promotes self-awareness, inner peace and personal growth. And it creates this mind-body connection where you're able to experience the signs and sensations within your body. And this heightened connection between the mind and body allows you to access profound wisdom and intuitive insights. And by enabling this connection to your breath and to your higher self, it really helps for you to shift your attention away from those distractions and self-limiting beliefs and allowing space, creating that space for your true self to emerge. So the breath acts as a bridge to the subconscious mind. With controlled breathing, you'll be able to explore and access the deeper aspects of your psyche where your higher self wisdom resides. And when that happens, it truly is life changing. I mean, it is just mind blowing of what comes up to the surface when you are able to connect with your higher self. And it will take practice, so be patient with yourself. And again, there's always journaling and staying open-minded and letting go of attachment or expectations on how you should receive the messages because we're all different and we will receive and perceive things differently based on our own needs. And again, to trust the process. And finally, the third step, to experience that deep connection with your higher self and to honour and act upon the answers that emerge from within is to trust yourself. And this is something that you will strengthen the more you abide by the inner truths that emerge. But at first, of course, there will be doubt. You know, you have anxiety, feel anxious or scared to trust. But with time, as you undo the old programming and you work through those challenges, you will go from doubt to hope. 
and from there to belief and eventually to knowing because that's where trust is and you will get there I promise you and I've seen it happen and when you get there you will have this undeniable knowing and you will trust in the knowing that it's all possible but you can't go from doubt to trust because they carry two different frequencies and carry different emotions. So you have to fully commit to the knowing that it's all possible because that's where the magic happens. And this could be applied to different areas of your life as well. For example, I now have this absolute knowing that I can create a YouTube video and just put it out there. But there was a time where I didn't even consider it a possibility for me or a timeline or see myself doing something like this. So it's a matter of going through the stages, going through the process and knowing and trusting that it's all possible. So it's about gradually going through the stages to get to the knowing before it's happened. And in order to get there, events need to happen. So you will start attracting synchronicities, events and situations into your life that will get you from doubt to the knowing. Your higher self will orchestrate things around for you and you will start attracting you know, amazing, wonderful opportunities, new experiences into your life. And your higher self will guide you to where you need to go. So you can see these as stepping stones towards your highest timeline and to, lo and to the life that you're meant to live. As you raise your conscious awareness and work on all those things and undo the conditioning and quietening down that noise and calling your energy back to you. And any setbacks along the way, that you encounter are okay is part of the process and it's important to remember that to not let that contrast drag you down but instead to use that contrast to let you know what it is that you no longer want what it is that what it is that's no longer serving you because from that point of being in that present moment of now you can choose something different and make a different choice because you can and you have the power to do that and like with my YouTube channel, events, a series of events had to happen in my life that led me down this path. And when all of it started, I'd never once imagined or thought that this is a path that I would be going down. But again, this is what it requires you to fully trust in that knowing, working through the doubt, the fear, the uncertainty, and knowing that it's all possible, whatever it is, this is you stepping into the unknown and letting go of the old and shifting your identity. And for me, it's more than just putting up a YouTube video. For me, it's about creating this sense of community where we can help and share things with each other. So I truly hope that it resonates with you because it's more than just putting up a YouTube video. And if you've been struggling connecting with your higher self, or if there's something that you want to share that you feel can help others, then please put it in the comments down below. It can not only help others, but I also love reading your comments too. With that said, I know it's not an easy thing to do without, without seeing the evidence first, but if you start to believe, you will be guided. And I want you to remember that this is a personal journey that takes time and practice. And as you work on listening to that inner wisdom, validating its accuracy, the stronger your trust in yourself will grow and you will start to trust your instincts your natural instinct, your gut feelings, validating your guidance before the overthinking sets in. And I want you to really remember to also acknowledge and accept your small wins, those small insights, that progress that you've made along the way by following your inner guidance because this reinforces your trust in your intuition and your higher self. And I just want you to know that spiritual growth is a lifelong journey and when you connect with your higher self, you deepen that spiritual connection and you'll be able to find it easier to cope and navigate through life's challenges, setbacks and uncertainties. And as you nurture these three fundamental qualities, you will experience and go places that you never thought imaginable. And I truly, honestly do believe that. And the more you tap into that, you'll become who you are meant to be. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please hit the like button and subscribe so that it can reach other viewers who also need to hear this message as well. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, much love. Namaste.